this, this is pretty timeless. This is pretty timeless. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most dangerous cars of all time. And partly because if you had a car like this, you wouldn't have a wife or a girlfriend. Can you dig it? Yes, I can. From Hyundai. For this list, we'll be ranking the automobiles that have historically posed the most danger to their drivers. Can you think of any we missed? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Geely CK. A lot of imported cars make their way over to North America, including brands from Japan, Germany, and Sweden. Chinese-made cars weren't exactly commonplace at trade shows, however. That is, until the Geely CK made history when it was shown to members of the press in 2006. This did little to increase the brand's safety reputation, however, as it was repeatedly cited for possessing incredibly poor frame design. The body for the Geely CK was reportedly so bad that it would collapse in situations of major stress, and the model was eventually phased out by 2016. Its spiritual successor, the Gleagle CK, is still currently for sale in China. Number 9. Hyundai Pony <laughs> Pony Excel Panzer. The next car on our list had a surprisingly long life for a model that repeatedly was the butt of industry jokes for its poor construction. The Pony was Hyundai's first attempt at developing a car for the import market, and it did so at an incredibly affordable price. No wonder the Pony Ride is an all-time, all-round family favorite. Unfortunately, this meant that ponies on the road were basically cheap rust buckets that couldn't handle the weather and road obstacles present in the country where they were the most popular, Canada. Poor frame aside, the pony also had suspension issues and a rear-wheel drive which made them incredibly dangerous to drive in heavy snow or pouring rain. This pony was a bust. Take a pony for a ride. You'll be amazed. Number 8. Pontiac Fiero Holy smokes, what is this? It's a Pontiac Fiero. The tagline for the Pontiac company may have been, We Build Excitement. But in the case of the Fiero, a better slogan might have been, We Build Trouble. That's because these popular cars were known for exploding or catching fire, thanks to malfunctioning connecting rods. These rods would break in cars that were either dangerously low on oil or driven extremely recklessly, resulting in hundreds of customer complaints and nearly a dozen injuries. Fiero, fuel injected, economical, and only from Pontiac. Despite this, the Fiero still has plenty of fans on the secondhand market, many of which point to its performance and sporty look as a reason to defy death every day. Pontiac. Number 7. Chevrolet Corvair. Even now when I drive it, you know, people under 30 go, is that a Carmen Gear? Is that, is that Italian? No, it's a, it's a Chevy. What? A Chevy Corvair? Well, Sometimes it's not necessarily the car, and it's not necessarily the driver, but a combination of the two. The Chevy Corvair became infamous for its inclusion in Ralph Nader's book, Unsafe at Any Speed which accused most major car companies of choosing performance over safety. Nader pointed out the rear-mounted engine caused handling issues for owners who delighted in driving as fast as possible. This was true, but it wasn't just the Corvair's design that caused rollovers, as many other sporty vehicles could be susceptible to the same thing, should that same driver be behind the wheel. Beneath the sleek modern lines, you have a new 140 horsepower, four carburetor rear engine. Agile performance to go with its breathtaking beauty. That said, the Corvair's body design did passengers no favors should a rollover occur, which the aforementioned engine was prone to overheating and seizing. Not much doubt about it, is there, that this is the car that gives you more of what you're looking for in a compact car. Number 6. Audi 5000. Why did Car and Driver magazine call the Audi 5000 a functional masterpiece? Not to be confused with the Audi 5000. There are few things more frightening than the bugs that plague the next car on our list, the Audi 5000. That's because the engines on this Volkswagen subdivision were prone to accelerating at a moment's notice, resulting in hundreds of accidents and six deaths. This deadly defect was reported between 1983 and 1987, but an investigation actually revealed that many of these instances were due to operator confusion and error. A Washington-based consumer group headed by Ralph Nader has dubbed the Audi 5000 
5000, a killer car. That said, the Audi 5000 did possess issues with its idle stabilizer system, and these errors did contribute to some acceleration complaints. The company tinkered with the design and future Audi 5000 models years did not seem to possess the same issues. The Audi 5000 at your Porsche Audi dealer and find out why. Number 5, Ford Model T. This was the car that really started it all. Older cars are just bound to be plagued with more problems, right? Well, this is correct when it comes to the classic Ford Model T. And it all comes down to one boneheaded design flaw. Of course, the Model T eventually made Henry Ford famous throughout the country and eventually the world. The gas tank for the car, affectionately known as the Tin Lizzy, was located under the seat, effectively making it a bomb waiting to go off. What's worse, the Model T's style of windshield was extremely sharp, leaving the driver in some pretty rough shape. Should an explosive crash occur, does this stop the Model T from being an incredibly cool and vintage old car? Of course not, but antique collectors seeking to score one should probably drive with extreme caution. Trying to figure out, I think we've got some ignition problem here. Number 4. BMW Isetta the Isetta's origins may lie in Italy, but the BMW redesign gave the phrase dangerous driving a whole new meaning. The Isetta is known as a bubble car, a single cylinder mini that used a motorcycle engine of all things. The BMW version beefed up their engine, but the Isetta's inherent design featuring a front hinged hatch was so small and thin that drivers were basically taking their own lives in their hands when driving one. If you push the pedal too hard, the whole thing will fall on its face. You hit another car, farewell forever. You hit a small tree, see you in the next world. Clip that corner a little bit, well, you may not die, but say goodbye to one of your lower extremities. You get the idea? Number 3. DeLorean DMC-12 It was a bad car that succeeded in spite of itself. An absolute cultural icon that could have only been birthed in the wild and untamed 1980s. You made it! Yeah! Welcome to my latest experiment. This is the big one, the one I've been waiting for all my life. Ah, uh, well, it's a DeLorean, right? Stay with what me, Marty. All your questions will be answered. The DeLorean DMC-12 was named after the company's founder, ex-GM exec John DeLorean, and was a definition of style over substance. You don't do a thing like this for the money. You do it because you love doing it. For all its looks, the DeLorean DMC-12 wasn't very fast nor could it handle very well. What it did have was those two bitchin' gold wing doors. Doors that would lock whoever was inside, should their DeLorean roll over. Beyond this, the DeLoreans had alignment issues that resulted in excessive, dangerous tire wear, poor alternators, and a fiberglass frame that was simply not designed with high-speed accidents in mind. Drive the DeLorean. Live the dream today. Number two. Yugo GV. Surprise! Ta -da! You kind of know a car is bad when there are jokes almost immediately out about its quality or lack thereof. Reliability is his second name. Dependability and safety now have a totally new meaning. Do not hold your horses. Your dream of a tough, dependable car can finally be fulfilled. The Yugo was an import that boasted a cheap price tag and even cheaper construction, with feedback criticizing issues such as its timing belt. Owners needed to replace these belts every 40,000 miles, with failure to do so potentially resulting in a bricked engine. Kind of engine just piece of shit the Yugo GV was also slow as hell and unreliable in a crash, with the brand never really gaining a foothold in the United States. Come on. Come on. Come on. Look what's coming now! No! Oh. Well, this is pathetic. Hugo ultimately died a quiet death in 2008. Before we name our number one pick, here are a few dishonorable mentions. Kia Rio. The 2012 and 2014 model years possessed poor and dangerous seat design. Introducing the Reborn Rio. Winner of Cars Guide. Car of the Year. Chevrolet Cobalt prone to fuel leaks and faulty fiery ignitions. Not only safe, but enjoyable too. It's great gas mileage. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. 
If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Ford Pinto. The legacy of our number one entry is probably familiar to many consumers, even if they don't consider themselves to be particularly knowledgeable about car history. America's best-selling small car last year is an even better idea for 77. That's because the Ford Pinto is somewhat infamous for the location of its fuel tank in the back. This resulted in fiery death traps should the Pinto get rear-ended. But this wasn't the only problem with the car. The Pinto suspension and drum brakes were also suspect, but the public just couldn't let the fuel issues go. Compare Pinto. It may be the best small car buy in America. A recall was petitioned by the Center of Auto Safety, with Ford ultimately doing so voluntarily against an impending hearing by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.